Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have the Land Rover Defender of the Dark Arts with us today. It's the D300 and this is a monster of a car. It's a 3 litre twin turbocharged diesel and it's a 6 cylinder. It's, it's absolutely fast. To give you an idea, it goes 0 to 100 in just 6.7 seconds. I'm trying to get words for this car but the more I look at it, the more speechless I become because it's, it's absolutely amazing and I'm sure you guys will agree with me. So as you would imagine, it's such a huge car and it's paired with very nice 20 inch alloy wheels. And you can see it looks quite nice on the car and raises it up quite well. A nice design here on the side which complements the top here very well. So if you come along at the back, you'll see there is a full size spare tire included, a full 20 inch. As you do see at the boot, it's, it's a side hinged tailgate. So it opens sideways. It is quite spacious inside, I will show you, but you have seen it's two doors. So as you can imagine, the boot might be a bit small. And it is, it's only 297 liters. So that is one of the downsides of this car. But you do get the, like there's a nice charging port here on the side here. Um, like for, for camping, you can plug in whatever device, uh, items you want to there. And over here, there's also a 12 volt socket. And you can actually control the height of the vehicle here. You can adjust it up or down over there. At the back here, we've got the fuel tank. It's a huge 89 liter. It does take diesel. So as you can imagine, the range is very, very good on the car. Okay, so we've stepped into the driver's seat. As you can see, the sunroof is open. I open it for a bit more light. But also just to show you that it does have it has quite a big sunroof which is very nice so if you look here it seems like there's no buttons on the steering wheel right but now have a look at when you start the car what happens there or oh, everything comes so there you've got the your phone control is all it's it's all lit up so it actually looks very nice here's the volumes and then you've got all your other like your uh, cruise control here and you've got lane keep assist so it actually all looks quite nice and fancy. So if you look at the dashboard, it's, it's quite fancy. It's a fully digital dashboard. So if I switch the car on, as you can see how nicely, the, how nice the dashboard looks. On the side, you've got the navigator. And the car also has, I'm going to go up a bit. I'm not sure if you can see. So can you see the speed there? It's, it's a heads up display on the windshield. So in there, you can, it'll show you your, navi your navigation pops up there as well. So we've got the 10 inch infotainment system here. And then over here, you've got some buttons. Here you can control the aircon over here. So you just press that button and then you slide like that and then also the car has different modes so if you click on this button and then you use this dial so you can see comfort is selected at the moment there's grass and gravel there is mud ruts there is sand there is rock crawl mode there is wade mode and there's a configurable mode and there's also eco so there's just a visual on the on the passenger side you do have automatic windows you've got a nice compartment there there is enough usb ports there's two usb ports and you've got the aux over here You've got cup holders here and then have a look at this here. There's a fridge. So as you can see, it's lit up. So it's ice cold. I've actually got it on two there. You can actually toggle this. So you press it goes to one and then switch it off. But if you put it on, as you can see, it does light up and it's absolutely like a freezer in here. And, and look how deep it is. So you can put quite a nice amount of items there. Here I'm at the back. The car does have two doors and wow, it's super comfortable at the back. It's, it's like no different to the front. You know, normally the driver is the most comfortable, but yeah, sometimes the passengers do argue that they're actually more comfortable than the driver. The knee room is a bit tight. It's probably more suited for, for kids to be at the back. And the headroom, it's fine. Like, a, like you've seen in my previous video, you can get extra headroom up in the sunroof if you like. But that's uh, up to you. It's a personal choice. And then down here, you've got two USB ports. You've got two 12-volt sockets there. And you can actually control. So this got multi-zone climate control as well. You can control the climate control here and then you've got your air vents over there. Wow, look at this. I mean, this pouch looks hard, but it's actually quite, it's nice because it comes out so far. So you can fit a nice amount of things there. Guys, I think I'm getting too used to uh, getting this additional headroom. So if I get another car without a sunroof, I'm not sure how, how I can find new headroom there. I found a new use for a sunroof. I know some guys don't like sunroofs, but what do you think about this using it as a 360 view? So guys, I think we played enough in the sun. Let's take the car for a drive and see how it performs on the road. Guys, let's talk about the power of this Land Rover X-Dynamic D300 model. It's a three liter twin turbocharged diesel and it produces 221 kilowatts of power and 650 newton meters of torque. Just to give you perspective on how fast this car is, it goes from zero to 100 in just 6.7 seconds. Now that's awesome and it's super fast. Guys, what is the fastest car you've been in, in terms of 0 to 100 and which car was it? Please comment below, I'd love to hear. Have you guys seen a hologram before in, in any car? So from the outside, this is a Land Rover Defender. So it has that, 
that kind of a, a like a rugged and and smooth look at the same time it has a comfort it has a luxury it's got the power it's got the tech it's got the safety just like the kia carnival you can probably write an essay about all the features this car has so i'm not going to go through every every feature in that the car has and again like the previous video what i'll do is i will link a, a brochure down below that you can go through at your leisure and so this model i'm driving is it's got the, uh, the all the option packs it's got the like a fridge compartment it's got the heads up display which is an additional optional extra so in the brochure you'll see what comes standard what comes as optional extras you've got the 20 inch wheels a full size spare tire at the back the boot is a bit on the small side it's only 297 liters so if you look at the back you'll see it is a bit more spacious but you do compromise the boot at just 297 liters and then speaking about the price point of this car so this one as i said it does have all the optional extras so it comes to roughly about 1.5 million but if you want the base with the base features and that's i mean the features are a lot and that will cost about 1.3 million I, I didn't put the exact number but it's roughly between 1.3 and 1.5 basically so you start at 1.3 at the base and depending what optional extras you want you could uh, rack uh, rack up the price up to 1.5 million so it is priced on the high end it's a very luxurious car you can definitely feel what with, with all the even leave alone the features just the drive you get and the, the features are an added bonus but you can feel you in a much stronger and much more stable car yeah and you, you you're getting what you pay for in terms of build quality there's absolutely nothing to fault the car it's got all the bells and whistles everywhere you touch is premium and you know from the steering wheel from the the look of the dashboard the integration of everything there's so many modes there's, there's sand mode there's rock climbing mode there's off-road mode there's snow mode I mean, there's a mode for everything every day of the week you got a mode if you're someone that's adventurous and you're always looking to explore and you you want a a capable vehicle a 4x4 vehicle like like this is what the extra luxurious uh, features then this is absolutely perfect for you sometimes if you get an off-road car that's more capable off-road than on-road you might sacrifice the the comfort of the drive maybe a traditional 4x4 wouldn't have this smooth drive like this car but this d300 land rover defender will give you that absolutely pleasurable long drive with even if you're going on a road trip with no gravel this car is very very it, it, it's also perfect for that so it's it's, it's multi multi-faceted for off-road and for luxurious long road trips speaking of going off-road and long road trips the ground clearance of this car at its base so as you drive it on on-road mode is 219 millimeters now that already is very very high and much higher than a lot of suvs in the market and then once you put it on on the off-road you can actually there's at the click of one button you can press and you you basically extend the height and then you get right up to 291 millimeters of ground clearance now what do you guys think of that i mean that's super high you normally identify rock climbing with a human like if you know someone's hiking a lot and then you ask him did you have to climb many rocks but you know this car has you covered because there's even a rock climbing mode but I don't think you can climb this car up Table Mountain, but I'm sure you can take it and have a lot of fun with the rock climbing feature. It doesn't have a Table Mountain mode, it's just got normal rock climbing mode. Guys, that's it for today's video on the Land Rover Defender 90 X Dynamic D300. I hope you guys found it informative and fun to watch and you learned something new about the Land Rover brand if you didn't already. Please like this video, share it with your friends and family. After this, you don't need to close this video. I'm sure you'll get a, one of my suggested videos after this. You can click on that or you can just visit my channel and browse is uh, there's over 30 videos you can choose from whether you're in the market for a b segment car a hatchback car c segments suvs compact suvs comment down below if there's any other cars you'd like me to review and i'll see what i can do i'll see you guys in the next video that you're going to watch on my channel